Hey friends, in this video, I will demonstrate how to create a new exam in exam.net. First of all, you have to register in exam.net and sign in as teacher. Then you will see the opening window of exam.net. You will see here one box with the title my exams. Inside you will see new exam button. Click over there. Here you can give the name for your exam. Then here you can upload your question paper which is in the PDF file or you can write exam questions or you can paste the question paper from Microsoft Word. Here my question paper is already in my system in PDF format. So I'm choosing use a PDF file option. Now my file is saved on the desktop. So I'm selecting the PDF document. Okay, now the question paper is in the PDF format. It is uploaded. Now we have to set the other informations which are available. Here we have to give the students information that the students have to provide before starting the exam. So generally here I'm choosing first name and last name. Yeah, then we can see the option anonymize exam actually no need to set the anonymize exam this option should be off now here we can see the information which are available for students workspace the writing area it should be on okay then only the students can type their answers then there is another option spell check no need to give access to spell check for the students as definitely they should know the spellings now here we can see the option scan handwritten solutions with a mobile phone if your exam has some questions which allows the students to write the answers on a paper so we have to give the student the ability or access to scan the handwritten solutions with the help of their mobile phone and QR code scanning app. So that option can be turned on if you require. Then when you click accessibility tools you can see the options like allow translation help it just gives access to translation help uh, for single words or many languages for my case I'm making it turn off then English synonyms it enables the students to get synonyms for English words no need to turn on speech synthesis option also no need to turn on this option actually allows to read a text aloud which is part of the exam or text that the student produces so for my case I'm turning off the option speech synthesis if you have any additional PDF documents you can upload those documents by clicking add PDF document for my case I don't have any other extra PDF documents then if you have any audio files to upload which are related to your exam you can upload your audio files from your system with the option audio files then when you are clicking subject tools you can see some features which are helpful for the students there is one option drawing tool it gives the students a tool to
to draw pictures which can be attached to their solutions workspace. So this option you can turn it on. If it is math exam you can use the options like formula editor, calculator, GeoGebra and Desmos. These features are very helpful for the students to use formulas, algebraic equations and expressions, calculator, algebraic capabilities and graphing tools and so on. And this programming option is only for the computer programming related exams. So for my case, I'm not turning on these options. Here are the external resources, that is the option which is only for high security mode. So this one, oh, I'm not turning on any additional external resource. So I'm not setting up any options there. Now here you can see the options related with security of the exam. So here you can see the option allow any browser. This option should be turned on. Then only the exam will open in any web browser such as Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox and so on. And here you can see settings for the lower security mode. As a teacher, you will see in the monitor view if the student tries, uh, tries to leave the exam area. So we have to choose the options uh, here from the list box. You can choose the options what will happen for the student if he or she wants to uh, close the exam window by mistake or manually if it happens what you can do as a teacher. So here we can see lots of options. Here the ideal option is require an explanation but unlock immediately. Uh, uh, not this option, sorry. Require explanation and manual unlock by the teacher. So here with this option, as a teacher, you can monitor the exam and you can manually unlock the exam or you can uh, help the students during their technical issues. So please note that require explanation and manual unlock by the teacher option should be selected. After setting all these options for our exam, you can click create the exam. Now our, our online exam is creating and here you can see the message a new exam has been created. So here my exam is created over here and here you can see the exam key and other details like exam name, the created date, its status, it is open or closed and so on. You can see a small button nearby the exam key to copy the exam key. The generated exam key has to be shared with the group of students who are expected to write the exam. Before starting the online exam, open or closed this option should be on. There will be confirm message window. There you have to click open. Then only the exam will be opened and activated for the students. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to this 